So, it is the next day, and yesterday's vlog didn't really work out because life is kind of boring right now. So, you got what you got. But I thought I would sit down and have a little chit chat with all of you. Basically, we are about four weeks into this whole quarantine thing. And Easter weekend just passed. And normally, it's filled with people spending time with family and just, you know, celebrating. Obviously, this year was a little different for everybody. And if you're my chronic illness friends out there and you're in a situation like me, I realize a lot of people are in a situation like I have been recently. And there's been a lot of people being like, so my chronic illness decided to flare now too. And you don't want to end up in the ER right now. And then they're just like, I don't want to complain and whatever. It is not complaining, guys, because life still goes on. You're still going to struggle with the things that you always struggle with. And it is okay to admit you are struggling with those things. It's probably better to admit you're struggling with those things than keep them bottled up inside. And chronic illness doesn't stop because it's a holiday, because you're in a pandemic. It carries on. Like recently, my motility has been so bad and I've been in a lot of pain, a lot of nausea, and I'm trying to gain back control of it on my own. And that's okay. Like you have the tools there that you can at least try different things to keep yourself comfortable and I mean it's hard because obviously if you're like me you were already having problems pre quarantine and waiting on testing and obviously now the testing to figure out exactly what's going on and what's causing everything to go haywire in your body is now on pause because elective procedures and everything are kind of, you know, put on hold at the moment. And it's understanding why and it's understanding that we're frustrated about it. It's okay to have feelings like if you're happy with staying home and having time to yourself it's okay but if you're not happy with the situation that's okay too if you're keeping a routine and making sure you work out every day that's okay if you're in bed all day or staying up till 3 in the morning and going to bed at 3 in the morning and sleeping till like 5 in the afternoon that's okay right now the main goal for me, especially, survival, not ending up in the ER, just staying calm. I guess we might be in this for a while, and that's gonna suck. But just know, we are all in this together. Surround yourself with as much positivity as you can. Watch random TikTok videos that, you know, are gonna make you laugh, Dable. <laughs> I also see a lot of memes about how, hey, you don't like being in quarantine or self-isolating or social distancing, yet a person with a chronic illness does it all the time. That doesn't mean it's easier for a person with a chronic illness right now either. Like, it's hard because now you're worrying about keeping your symptoms in check medical supplies, like I have a pick line, gloves, all of those shortages like affect us too. And I mean, we were already, so all that stuff affects us and our everyday life too. And it's okay. Basically, I guess I'm just making this to say it is okay 
to feel whatever you're feeling. It's okay to be missing your life the way it is. It's okay if you're sitting down and reevaluating your life and like trying to think, you know, what do I want my future to look like when this is over? Like, do I want to stay where I am? Do I want to advance like in other areas of my life? Like, what do I need to work on right now to make myself happy? Like, everyone is dealing with the same situation, like the same cause, but everyone is going to be dealing with it differently right now. And that's just the way it is. Every person is different. The way people handle certain situations is different. But what I can say is reach out to your friends, whether they're your online friends or your friends in personal life. Like I've been trying to keep my Instagram po more positive and like posting bits about what's going on in my life, like the struggles that I'm having just to kind of keep it real, but like not constantly. I'm trying constantly just not to focus on what's going on in the world and just be like, this is what's normal for right now. If you sit down and do a bunch of crafts all day, you know, that's okay. I think this video is going to come out on Thursday because I have a new video coming out tomorrow, which is Wednesday. And then next week, I have a video talking about finding hope and happiness. And I mean, yes, the main center is finding hope and happiness and all that around a chronic illness. But I think it's a video that everybody can relate to right now because everyone's trying to find comfort and happiness and like just a way to feel secure right now. So, with that being said, I will see you all in my next week's video. You're probably going to be getting a lot of random videos like this right now because I am filmed till June. I'm planning July and August videos right now, which I might end up filming in quarantine, even though normally I try to film my videos only a month or two, a month, month and a half in advance. We'll just see. If you are struggling, stay strong, find happiness, and stay calm. Just know, in the end, we're all in this together, and we're all going through this together.